Yo's me your boy, Shonen Boy, here today, I'm here today to talk about the latest episode of Bleach, The Thousand Year Blood Walk, Episode 3. Uh, let's get straight into this, if you've not watched the latest episode of Bleach, go and watch it and come back to this review, because I will be getting into spoilers. Okay, let's get straight into this, in 3, 2, 1, let's go. So, I'll just say straight off the bat, I was a little bit confused in this episode about what was going on and what the, um, you know, like what Ukitake was really like doing because this whole episode is focused around Ukitake and, uh, you know, him basically giving up his life uh, to, uh, you know, basically, um, you know, patch the Soul King back together because in the last episode Ichigo um you know cut the soul king in half and you know in this episode Ukitake gives up his life um to basically become the soul king for a time period so that the world of the living uh, soul society and Waco Mundo just don't cease to exist he basically gives up his own life so he he goes into the center of uh, where like uh, Udahara and Soifone and all those guys and, like all the captains are in like the research division sort of like area and he starts like chanting um, and he says he starts chanting Mimihage 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 and I was just like what what is Mimihage so from what I gather um, we go into a backstory of uh, Ukitake's uh, you know sort of life um, you know and uh, we find out like he was a very sickly child um, we already knew this um, with uh, you know if you've been watching Bleach you know that Ukitake has been very sick um, he basically has a really bad lung condition um, that you know um, he he spits up blood and everything like that. Basically, you could um, you know, call it cancer, I guess you could say. Like, um, and he was a very sickly child, and his mother and father um, were praying to this statue um, that I'm assuming is connected to the Soul King. Maybe it's one of his like arms or something like that. And it has an eye in the middle of the uh, arm, and they keep on chanting Mimihake, 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 and it's like you no, know, really, like it's a you know sort of there's like a ritual sort of like chant that they keep on like chanting um that they want to you know save um Ukitake's like life um because you know if he um because he's about to like straight up die and it's a big you know um you know sort of thing and then um we f we see Ukitake and uh, he looks like he's about to like straight up die but then he goes into this like void and he sees the arm and the arm is like crying and he goes over to the arm and you know and gets like the tears and he drinks the tears and all of this like black sort of mist goes all over his body and then we get the title screen and everything like that and it brings them back to life so um, what I'm assuming is, is that the uh, Soul King uh, gave like um, Ukitake, um, you know, a second chance at life, or like it cured him a little bit, but it could not cure his like sickness. It gave him life, but it didn't like cure his like sickness of like what was happening to him. So uh, yeah. Um, so then we go, and then we go back, and we go into a little bit more of his backstory. Um, you know, we meet um, some old grandma. And it seems like, um, you know, Ukitake is a very, you know, sort of like, um, you know, um, happy sort of like uh, kid. Um, he, uh, you know, runs into this guy who's like sort of bullying this old grandma um, because the grandma like, you know, bumped into him. And uh, the grandma beats the shit out of him, which is like, oh, okay, shit. And then the guy was like, you know, fucking grandma. And uh, Ukitake is like helping the guy. And, uh, you know, the guy's, um, you know, a bit mean to Ukitake. But he, he tries to turn the situation into a whole like, oh, how do you do like you know t I mean it's like he's a really nice sort of like guy and then we get into when he gets into the uh, Soul Reaper Academy uh, with uh, you know Shinsui. Uh, Shinsui and Ukitake have been like friends for like um, since they got into the you know um, Soul Reaper Academy. Uh, they've known each other for a long time, and uh, we see them practicing and everything like that. And uh, Ukitake, while he's uh, practicing, he like spits blood at Shinsui, not on purpose. He doesn't as an accident. 
accident because he can't control when he, like, you know, coughs up blood. And, uh, you know, they keep on practicing, even though, um, you know, sh um... Ukitake like spits blood at him and it's like oh okay shit you know so yeah then we uh you know see uh you know Ukitake and Shunsui um you know growing up together you know being um you know best friends and everything like that and we see um that uh Ukitake brings uh Shunsui to the uh statue um and he tells um you know Shunsui about the uh statue and how it saved his life and everything like that and uh you know and it's connected to the uh, soul king and he's got a bit of like the um soul king's like essence or like his like oh his like his spirit inside of him that's what i'm assuming when it comes to our uh, ukitake he has like the soul king uh, like sort of like spirit inside of him um so that's how he can sort of like connect to the soul king um in the uh in the at the start of the episode when he was chanting and he gave up his life for the soul king so uh yeah then we go um, into uh, the uh, Central 46. Uh, they're like the government of the uh, Soul Society. And uh, Ukitake is uh, saying that I don't need a lieutenant. Um, you know, uh, his old lieutenant uh, died. Uh, I think it's Kayan Shiba. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what his name is. And uh, they had a whole backstory with like Rukia and everything like that. And, uh, you know, um, he doesn't want to replace uh, Kayan Shiba with another lieutenant so he says oh, i don't want a lieutenant and uh you know uh central 46 is just like um you, you need a lieutenant uh you're very sickly um and you can't you know um do your duties all the time and uh and he's like I i'll be fine okay so yeah but we know later on um you know um uh, you know, um, we get an, um, the other lieutenant, um, Rukia, yeah, Rukia. Rukia becomes lieutenant of Squad 3, and later on, uh, if you've read the, uh, manga, we know that she, uh, becomes the captain as well, after Ukitake is, like, you know, you know, dead and gone. Um, so yeah. So then, uh, we jump forward into when we, f when, uh, you know, the head captain is, uh, dead, and we see his, um, you know, Zompokto, and we get Ukitake, Unahana, and also, uh, Shinsui. Those three are, like, the old, uh, you know, dogs. They are, like, the ones that have been around for, like, the longest time. They have been, um, you know, with the Soul Society for, like, the longest time. Um, you know, and, um, even Unahana has been around for, like, even longer than Ukitake and, uh, Shinsui. She was, like, one of the first. So, uh, yeah. So, we see, uh, what happens to, uh, you know, Ukitake, we go back to, uh, you know, current day, and, um, he, like, all this, like, black sort of, like, mist and everything like that, um, you know, goes around Ukitake, he starts spitting up blood, and then a hand comes out of his, like, body, and goes up to where the Soul Palace is, where Ichigo and also, um, you know, Yuha is fighting, and we see also, uh, Shinsui, uh, he, uh, has got, he's going to, uh, release, uh, you know, uh, Aizen, and, uh, to help, so, uh, yeah, I don't know how much help Aizen would be, um, because he's evil, but we'll have to wait and see, but, like, yeah, but, uh, the fight is still going on with Ichigo and also Yuha, um, they are, like, you know, fighting back and forth, uh, the other, you know, the group, you know, finally joins the fight, we get to see Orihime, um, you know, and also, um, uh, Chad, and, uh, you know, uh, Ganju, and also, um, Yoruichi, those guys, they all step in to help Ichigo, finally, uh, Chad does a punch, doesn't do anything to Yuha, um, you know, uh, Ganju does a Senpai, um, Senpa, I think it is, and, uh, um, you know, Otoichi tries to fight Yuha, and, but they don't really do anything to Yuha, he's basically, you know, God, he can, you know, predict everything they're going to do, so, uh, you know, they don't really stand a chance, and, uh, you know, Otohime tries to, um, you know, um, to heal the Soul King, she tries to put him back together, but it doesn't work, so, uh, yeah, and then, um, we, uh, then they see the hand, uh, come up 
to where the soul society, um, where the uh, soul palace is, and uh, it grabs the soul king, and uh, you know that Ukitake is gonna probably put you know the soul king back together and give his life for the soul king. Uh, soy phone, I mean, ox. How long is this going to, uh, you know? You know, be for because this is only temporary because uh, you know um, Ukitake isn't that very strong so um, it won't be enough and everyone you know gets a little bit um, you know on edge with uh, what Soy Phone had to say uh, because um, you know she's kind of um, you know degrading um, you know Ukitake's uh, sacrifice for the Soul King and she's just like it's true like you know um, how long is this going to um, you know take um, you know, what's going on on. And so, uh, yeah. Then at the very end of the episode, uh, we get to see uh, Shinsui. He, uh, you know, takes, uh, you know, out all the uh, seals that are holding down, uh, you know, Aizen. And uh, Aizen has to uh, sit in this, like, chair. And he has to be restrained and everything like that. And, uh, you know, Shinsui, uh, you know, says, Oh, you know, I'm going to let you loose. And you're going to help us. And, uh, you know, whether you like it or not. And, um, you know, um, he's like, I, um, I bet you haven't, you know, um, breathed the, th you know, fresh air of the Soul Society in many, uh, you know, um, you know, months or years, or however long, you know, Aizen's been down here, and, uh, yeah, so, um, Aizen, uh, you know, says, okay, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll help you guys out, because they have a common sort of interest, um, you know, um, Aizen doesn't want Yuha to sort of, like, take over, he wants to be the one to take over, so, uh, yeah, because, you know, he's evil, so, yeah, um, and I love this part where, like, one of the, uh, um, one of these Central 46, um, you know, um, guards or whatever, whoever this guy was, um, you know, um, is about to restrain him, and he, like, pushes, um, you know, Shinsui out of the way, and fucking tries to go up to Aizen, and tries to, like, restrain him, and he just gets decimated, he, like, his arms get all, like, chopped up, and his blood everywhere, and it's just like, oh my god, like, <laughs> and, like, Shinsui's like, wait, 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 and then, this guy just dies straight up, and Aizen's just like, Do not touch me, you filthy piece of peasants. And it's just like, Oh, okay, damn. And, uh, yeah, so don't don't mess with Aizen, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. And, uh, that is the end of the uh, episode. We see the, uh, black mist hand going up through the, uh, you know, barrier that was around the Soul Society. And going up to the Soul Palace. And that is the end of the uh, episode. It was a good episode. I'd give this episode a good solid um, 7.5, maybe an 8. Um, it was a decent episode. Most of the episodes have been pretty good. The animation has been on point, And I've been really enjoying Bleach so far. But anyways, uh, that is my review. Uh, put your thoughts down below. Uh, what do you think about this episode? Um, you know, what do you rate it out of, like, you know, 10? Um, and, uh, yeah. And I'll, t um, um, you know, tune in next time. I'll be doing ne um, the next episode. And, uh, yeah. And have an awesome day.